So today I'm talking about a P0017 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0017 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position, camshaft position, correlation, bank one, sensor B. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's sensors that monitoring the crankshaft as it spins and the camshaft as it spins. And for some reason, the computer's seeing that these aren't matching up, that there's some kind of issue going on here, that basically the timing's off for some reason. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google what your cylinder locations are on your particular engine, since there is differences, and you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that's the side of the engine that's going to be bank one. And the opposite of that would be bank two. And bank one is the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. And each bank on the engine can have one or two sensors. It is common these days for there to be two sensors. And camshaft position sensor A is usually the intake and camshaft sensor B is usually on the exhaust. And one thing to note about this P0017 code is that it can sometimes be kind of hard to troubleshoot. It can be caused by several different things, which can sometimes make it kind of problematic to diagnose and to fix and to figure out what the problem is. So be sure to keep that in mind. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0017 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty engine oil. So if you can, go check your engine oil. Be sure that it's at the right level. Be sure it doesn't look like it's really dirty or anything like this, because the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty engine oil. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue going on inside the variable valve timing, that one of the components is having some kind of problem. And this is going to be something like a bad variable valve timing solenoid, a bad actuator, sometimes called a phaser, or something along these lines. And oil flows through all the variable valve timing components. So this is the reason why low or dirty engine oil could cause this code sometimes. Depending on the vehicle, the variable valve timing can be designed differently. But basically, you're going to have a solenoid, sometimes called the oil control valve. You're going to have what's called an actuator, sometimes called a phaser. And all of these components all need to work together, and they can adjust the timing at different RPMs, which can give more power, give better gas mileage, different things like this. But if something goes wrong with one of these components, then it can throw off the timing, and, and it can cause issues. Usually, if there is some kind of issue going on with the variable valve timing, you're going to get another code. For example, if there's some kind of problem with the actuator or the phaser, then you could get something like a P0010 code, camshaft position, actuator, circuit, open, bank one, or something along those lines. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the next thing that could cause problems is going to be some kind of problem in the variable valve timing. And the next thing that could cause problems is a bad timing chain or a bad timing belt. And basically all the camshafts and the crank, they all need to line up correctly. And if they don't for some reason, then this is going to cause problems. And so the engine is going to have timing marks up at the camshaft and down on the crankshaft. And basically all these timing marks, they all need to line up. And if one gets off, then it's going to cause problems. So for example, say a timing belt slipped and this mark was a little bit before or a little bit after, then that's going to throw everything off and cause problems. Another thing that happens with these timing chains or timing belts is that they just get stretched out with age. And basically when that happens, it just throws everything off. Everything's not tight anymore, so it just throws everything off a little bit, which just causes problems. So if that belt or timing chain is really old and stretched out, then that could be a problem. So also there's tensioners that keep everything tight. And if one of these goes bad for some reason and it's not holding everything tight in there no more, then that can also cause problems. But the next thing on the list is going to be a bad timing chain or timing belt. The last thing on the list is going to be a bad cam or crankshaft position sensor. This is pointing to that bank one sensor B camshaft position sensor. So you can go and test it and check it out. Also keep in mind that the wiring going to it, if there's any kind of problems with that and any kind of issues, then that's going to cause the same problems as a bad sensor. These sensors are just monitoring the crankshaft and the camshaft as they spin. Every single time there's a piece of metal directly in front of those sensors, it's going to send a signal back to the computer. And the computer is going to be able to count these teeth on the crankshaft or the camshaft. And it's going to be able to monitor the timing of the engine this way. So you can go and test that sensor. Also, you can test the voltage going to it and be sure it's got a good ground and different things like this. One thing to note about these sensors is that if they are swapped out, sometimes depending on the vehicle, they need what's called a relearn procedure where the computer relearns the small variances that could be built into those sensors. It's really going to vary, but sometimes people, they'll swap out these sensors and then the engine won't start or it does start and it runs badly or something like that. So if you do happen to swap out those sensors, First of all, try to get an OEM sensors, and if the engine won't start, or if it does start and runs badly, then it's a good idea to do some research on your particular vehicle and check to see if it does need a relearn procedure for those crankshaft and camshaft position sensors if they are swapped out. Like I said, it's going to vary, but the last thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft or crankshaft position sensor.
And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0017 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.